Hello, topic of today's presentation is breaking ice applications with Frida. Agenda of this topic is basically we'll be talking briefly about what Frida is, how we can set it up for iOS, and the main usage methodologies where methodology one is connecting the plug, methodology two is hooking, and methodology three is Python instrumentation. Briefly about Frida. Frida was created by Ole Andre Ravnes, who works as a security researcher at NowSecure. Frida can be considered as a library to build debuggers, where when you want to debug some black box application, you don't really need to create your own code. You can just use the pre-built code provided by the Frida framework. Frida is a dynamic instrumentation toolkit. What dynamic instrumentation toolkit means? Dynamic tool, instrumentation toolkit is the first word of dynamic. You can treat it as a type of analysis, static versus dynamic analysis. Where static analysis is a type of analysis where you don't run the code that you're looking that you're looking at, and a dynamic analysis is the type of analysis where you do run the code on the system that you're looking at. Instrumentation is also a new word, but it literally describes how you are using handling the binary itself, where you can create a functions that you can inject before a function, you can inject after the function, or you can inject even in the middle of the function directly uh, by uh, altering its functionality at all. It also additionally you will be able to replace uh, functionality of the of the function or you can inject other data into the function or even call other function from outside of the scope of the project. PID in general works on multiple on, my, on many devices and uh, itself the, the framework can be installed on macOS, Windows or Linux. Additionally, hosts can be a target, a target machine that is uh, getting the installation or a remote device, for example Android or iOS. Additionally, it can also even debug Node.js processes on server or in browser. To prepare your computer, you need to install Python 3.9 or later and do the one command only, pip install Frida tools. Uh, to, to note, uh, you'll need the same version of Frida on your PC and on your device where you will in be instrumenting your application. Next step is to prepare your iOS device. First step will be jailbreaking. For iPhones earlier than iPhone 10, you will need to use CheckRain. Before CheckRain, there are multiple types of uh, jailbreaks that could garner their, their own talk. But uh, after the checkmate vulnerability was discovered, almost all uh, jailbreaks became CheckRain type jailbreak. And, those, uh, and this type of jailbreak does not depend on the version of operating system and can work even on the newer versions of operating systems. But for newer iPhones, you will have to use Altstore and Uncover. Uh, also, for not, to notify you, uh, Altstore and Uncover only work for jailbreaking 64-bit uh, devices. Second step will be to, to get Cydia. Normally, it is included with your jailbreak. But Debian package is downloadable from the, from the CDA website and installable via SSH if you don't have it uh, on the phone. After you download it, you will have to use uh, to add uh, Frida as a source in the sources tab. And you just download and install Frida directly from the CDA. As a methodology one, connect and explore. You can connect to the phone via two methods directly via USB by using dash capital U, or connecting remotely by using dash capital H, capital H and providing uh, IP address and port of the server running on the device. To demonstrate uh, the second method, uh, to demonstrate this first method, uh, we will be using the PC application because the device uh, sadly died right before the demonstration. So, as you can see, we, have, we can check the version of installed application by tagging Frida dash dash version, which is 16.0.13, and we can launch the application 
the Frida on the application by directly running Frida and, for example, put .exe. Uh, it will work uh, independent of the application or of the device. All the functionality is uh, the same. So, if we try to use help here, we notice that the help is not particularly helpful. So, how can we learn about uh, freedom more? How can we see what functions we can use? We can use, what we use is we use a tab complete. By pressing tab, we can see all the functions, uh, methods and classes that are available to us. For example, for, from here we can call math.py to show the pi. Oh, but the most useful functionality is uh, library process, which will show us uh, architecture, uh, idea of the process, and platform with, with, which uh, launched the application. After we, within the process, we have the most useful functionality as a and is a function of enumerate modules, where if you call for it, it will show all of the all of the modules that are used by the process. But uh, what is a module? A module is basically a dynamic library. In Windows, it's a DLL. In uh, Linux, it's .so. But for for iOS, they are either uh, files with an extension dylib or the main dyld library. Due to the basic structure of the, I, of the OS X, uh, only public frameworks are heavily documented by Apple uh, and, and are used by most of the third-party applications. But private frameworks, even though they are undocumented and disallowed to use, for use by third-party applications, we can still tap into them uh, by using Freedom. But what if you want to find a specific application uh, or specific library that uh, you know, for example, the name of or have an idea, but you don't want to scan all of the fun all of the functions and all of the modules from an array module? You can for that you can use a filter function, which is a basic JavaScript uh, code, which will allow you to filter the list by the name, by the included name. For example, we'll search for Crypt and we find four library, four uh, modules that are that, that are used by the library, or that are used by the process. Methodology second, uh, num number two is hooking. You know, for example, when you know how to find and load the address at path of the library, but if you want, but what if you want to look inside? There are two methods, Objective-C and non-Objective-C functions. Frida Trace uh, provides us for good functionality for both Objective-C and non-Objective-C hooking. Uh, by you, when you will use a dash M hook, it will call for Objective-C uh, functions. And if you use dash I, uh, Hook, it will use for it is used for non-objective C functions. Not for uh, anybody who will use it at home. Uh, Swift code is non-objective C function. Every time you hook any any type of function, it will create for you a specific uh, JavaScript file. For example, in libz data, uh, when I was uh, using, it created. Uh, a certain file called sub2a because I hooked it by the address. And here we can see on enter and on leave functions. On enter and on leave functions in this case will be functions that are executed before and after the function, where you can hook all the, all the incoming argument, arguments in the function or, and you can all also get the return values of the function. And for uh, methodology three, it's uh, basically a Python program, where you, for that you just only need to use free install Frida. But uh, if you you if you executed the previous code, it gets installed when installing Frida tools. 
it's the most powerful, but uh, it's uh, the the most uh, difficult method of the of using Frida. You you can use that uh, this method uh, to run your JavaScript pa packaging directly in Python. It allows for much much faster iteration of the uh, debugging, and also it's it is much more useful because you can pass data from JavaScript to Python and back, and directly operate on the data within Python script. So as you can see, Frida is fairly free and open source software, and it's the most uh, powerful and easy to use uh, framework for uh, reversing uh, mobile applications, for reversing mobile applications today, as far as I know. And I hope you think so too, that it's pretty easy to use. And here it's the end. Thank you for listening and have a nice evening.